Nothing like a little COVID picnic during van life. I've never been more sick in my whole life. On the 12th the day of COVID, my true love gave to me 12 lozenges, four cup of noodles, two Erin mittens, and a shit ton of vitamin C. Hi friends, I'm Montana Dana, and this is what it's like getting extremely sick while traveling full time in this cargo trailer she shed on wheels. I don't know if I got the vid, or typhoid fever, or it's early onset menopause, but let me just tell ya, it was the worst. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to support my channel, and make sure you subscribe. I usually post Monday through Friday, but sometimes I get deathly ill and take 10 days off, so you might as well subscribe and hit that bell so you know when I put up new videos. Hello friends! Jesus! Oh my god, I feel like I went on a bender. Dude, I feel like I'm in college and I went on a binge drinking weekend or something. Oh, sweet, sweet, 14 days ago, Dana. I really thought I was feeling like ass because I'd just been eating a lot of food with my family. But no, I was actually extremely, extremely sick and had no idea what was in store for me. I've never been more sick in my whole life. <laughs> I woke up. 500 times last night, a really bad sinus infection. <laughs> I can't talk. <coughs> and <clears throat> I woke up like wet last night, like my whole body was sweating like crazy, especially like behind my neck. My eyes are watering for no reason. What is wrong with my body? I'm gonna take a COVID test. Thankfully I met my aunt and uncles and I can just lay in their bed all day. I've been trying to upload old videos like my Ireland videos. <clears throat> it's so hard doing daily videos. Um, my family is in town, so I took a few days off filming and I was planning on, I was kind of ahead. So I'm like, oh, I can just take a few days off and enjoy. <coughs> I feel a lot of pressure to post videos because I'm doing Monday through Friday vlogs. But my body is just like, fuck no girl, you are resting. So just lay down and take it easy. I have like the worst headache and it goes all the way down my spine. I'm gonna take a COVID test today. There are no sick days when you're doing daily vlogs. I'm not vlogging this, like why? I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying to do Monday through Friday videos, I promise. I'm trying to stay away from my aunt and uncle, but I wanna get some sunshine. Mmm, being sick and daily vlogging, so fun. Day three being extremely sick. Well, I made it. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I could sing Barry White. Oh, I need to do it. I need to make my album right now. It's a Phoebe from Friends situation. I feel like such ass. I keep waking up, my whole body's sweating. I don't know, it feels like my spine is sweating. I definitely have a fever. It's tested negative for COVID, but oh my God. I have a sinus infection, I'm pretty sure. It's not cute. It's really not cute. So needless to say, I will not be vlogging for another day or two. I have been making lots of crochet though. <coughs> I want to die. No video is the last four days. I've been so sick. I don't want to be on camera right now. But I have been editing the Ireland footage, so I'm going to post that and rest. Drink hot beverages and juices and soups. Hashtag sex appeal. Oh, nothing. I just have the bubonic plague is all. <laughs> Good fun. This has been my diet for four days. Soup and soup and tea and soup and kombucha. Good morning, friends. Today is a clean with me and organize video just because that's what I'm doing today. So I was feeling slightly better this morning. It's day five of COVID. I don't know I have COVID yet. I thought I got a really bad sinus infection. I had to drink a ton of fluids and drinking a ton of fluids and living in a van without a toilet is not ideal. So I just posted a bunch of Ireland footage last week, but I pulled out all my crochet stuff. But this is what the trailer looks like right now. So I decided to find all of my yarn, which was in the piano in these boxes. And now, I cannot get through my van. I want to make this stuff more accessible because I've been like making a ton of crop tops, like really cute ones. I crocheted all day every day for five days while I was sick. <laughs> Excuse me. And today I'm trying to life like a normal human. I still feel like ass, but I feel like I need to just get up and get going. I've been posting Ireland footage and it's like 50-50 people either love it or hate it. They're like, we miss in the trailer, Dana. Well, this is her. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back to my very messy life. <laughs> <coughs> 
does not feel nice. If it was not getting better by today, I was going to go get antibiotics and I never take antibiotics. I'm feeling a little better today. Gonna get moving, get some sunshine. I found one of my favorite crop tops ever. I need to figure out the pattern a little bit more. It's a little loose. Maybe I'll put a border on it and cinch it up. This is more like a medium crop top. I'm gonna sell these, but I have to get the patterns and sizing right, so. And I wanna make one for myself just so I have the original, um, but this is a little too big. Or is it? I don't know. It's kind of cute how it is, but don't want it flapping and flailing in the wind. Oh my gosh, I can barely button my pants. Every time I hang out with my family, I ate so much food while my family was here. Then I got so sick because I was drinking and eating a lot of sugar and my body was like, oh, fuck you. I truly thought it was just lifestyle choices, but no, it was a vivid. I found a couple crop tops I made and I just kind of haven't finished them. I always stop once it's time to weave in the extra yarn. I like this one. It's got a little fringe. It's like my cotton candy crop. Um, but let me know if you guys are interested in purchasing and I'll make a bunch. If there's a specific one you like, send me a DM. This one I have pretty perfected. I know how to make a million of those. This one is kind of cute. It's the same as this one, just in a different material. But this one's in like patchwork. I really love this top. It's almost there and then i have something here that i would never wear personally but like i know some like cute hippie chick living in her van would love this i think it's cute i just don't know I, i'm gonna finish it we'll see here's a little bralette type thing with little peek boobs on the top this one's finished i always make them too big so i need to pick out some stitches this is like a medium size i need a small for my small titties i came across this and i was like why did i not finish this hat it's so cute Oh, I spilled coffee all over it, right? Forgot. That would have been a real cute winter hat, though. So I just kind of cleaned up and then I hit, I crashed. I took a nap on the couch and I'm still feeling very, very sick. So I'm not going to film today. I'm going to go sleep. <sighs> Good morning, friends. <coughs> I'm still very sick. I've been sick now for five, six days. It started out as just like, I'm very extremely tired and exhausted. And, and now I found out my family member has COVID who I was hanging out with. So I swear I've had COVID three times and I always test negative when I have the same symptoms as everyone around me who has COVID. It's a medical mystery. I always feel worse in the mornings and feel better once I get moving. So hopefully we can go do something today. But I do want to show you the view this morning. I'm on the hunt for some wildflowers. It's only like an hour and a half drive away. Might do that, but checking weather. I was gonna go to LA and it's supposed to rain this week, so I might not do that. Van life, it's an escape room. I'm not even joking every day. But this is the view this morning. Hello, Palm Springs. Hello, neighborhood friend. I've stayed here a couple times. I was at my aunt and uncle's, but once I found out it might be COVID, I was like, I'm gonna go because I don't want to get them sick. I'm at a casino parking lot. It's a great time, it's a great fun. You know you're sick when you don't even want coffee in the morning. So I've read online that you need to isolate for five days if you have COVID or if you're exposed to COVID, but since I'm still extremely symptomatic, I do not want to get others sick. So remember earlier when I said I had to drink a ton of fluids and drinking a ton of fluids and living in a van without a toilet is not ideal. So I rely on public restrooms and gym showers and I eat most meals out at a restaurant or go to Starbucks. So instead of staying in Palm Springs, I decided to drive up to St. George. I know this sounds weird, but there are some outdoor toilets that are semi-decent and I feel like it will be less likely to expose people to my germs. Yeah, having COVID during van life has been extremely awful. So for the next four days, I just slept, stayed in my trailer as much as humanly possible. I got a grocery delivery and just had them leave it outside my van. And I um, did not shower for the next four days. But I really don't want to get other people sick. So I didn't vlog any of that, but I started feeling a little bit better and felt like I could go out in public. So I went to my storage space and started to go through things, taking all the winter clothes I bought in Ireland, putting them in storage. And I'm looking for a couple specific items like my cast iron skillet. So right now I'm taking taking out all my clothes because I kind of want to go through them. There's some stuff I want out of here. Also trying to make more room in here so I can fit the valuable stuff. Oh, my sewing machine. <laughs> and my trumpet. Um, yeah, I want to be able to fit my really expensive stuff in here. I don't know how. I did a ton of cleaning and organizing this day and then I absolutely crashed and pretty much had a relapse. I was sick for another couple days. Just went to the gas station 
to fill up my soup. And I've never been so miserable. COVID during van life is the absolute worst thing. You know how when you're at home and you can like take a bath, <clears throat> sorry, I can't, I can't talk. My throat hurts so bad. Um, you take a bath, you can boil water, make hot tea, use the bathroom, whatever you want. So I rely on public restrooms and restaurants, so it's been very difficult. I keep door dashing to my old apartment building and just picking it up at the front so I can at least drink some soup, but I don't want to go into grocery stores and get people sick. So, And I haven't been able to vlog, so I'm getting like super depressed because I can't do my job. It's just like every fucking day. I wake up and I'm like, I'm gonna vlog today. And then I just like, I can't get out of bed. COVID hit me hard, hurt, <clears throat> oh my God. I always like need a bath. A bath always makes me feel better. I just sweat out, all, sweat out all the nasty. Been drinking tons of fluids and I have to go to the bathroom all the time. So I've been parking at this trail called the Chuckwalla Trail because there's outdoor restrooms <laughs> and they're like single ones and they're disgusting, but they're like away from people and they're kind of outdoors. So I'm just like, oh, I'm fucking hurting so bad. <clears throat> so don't recommend getting COVID during van life. So that's something I'd highly recommend. Anyway, I think my soup made the journey. Don't tell Journey we were talking about her. Yeah, soup made the journey, hallelujah. So I'm gonna very quietly go get into my trailer because I'm parked on a random street. And I'm gonna crochet my pain away. On a positive note, I have been crocheting like a mad person. And then I was like, yay, I'll make a bunch of crochet tops and then sell them. And then I'm like, wait, people aren't going to be wanting your COVID finger crop tops. I'm sitting in a seven by 10 cesspool of my own COVID germs. So I'm making samples for myself. <laughs> that I will wear and then I'll make a copy of them when I'm not sick and don't have my dirty fingers all over them. But making some bralettes and crop tops and just some easy things. This one's really cute. My eyes are so, my eyes are so red and I wake up like with green goop all over them every morning. It's so disgusting. I'm like, I'm so ready to feel better. I was with family for a week and I've been sick for over 10 days. So it's almost been three weeks that um, I haven't vlogged and I'm getting very, very depressed about it because it's my livelihood, first of all. I just want to get back to work and be able to travel and have fun again. That's my update. Ooh, hot tea. I tested negative for COVID three times, but the people I was around are testing positive for COVID and we have all the same symptoms. This is not the first time this has happened. I've been in group settings, everyone gets sick, and I get sick too, and everyone tests positive for COVID, and I test negative. I don't know why. So I don't know 100% sure know if I have COVID, because I haven't actually tested positive, but the people around me, same symptoms, are positive. I keep coming up negative, but it's either COVID or the bubonic plague. I'm not sure which, but I'm over it. It hurts to swallow soup. Well, I'm going to watch Brooklyn 911. What is the one with Andy Sandberg? I don't know, I've been, been watching it. And I'm gonna make another crop top and then go to bed. Good talk. <laughs> Back to the frosty weather. It's been a little bit cold. <coughs> <coughs> Wasn't supposed to get below freezing in St. George when I checked the weather, but. Good morning, friends. Now I've been horribly sick. I am not well. I want more than anything to take a bath. I rely so much on public restrooms and showers. COVID has been kind of a nightmare for me because I don't want to go in and shower and get other people sick. I don't want to go into a restaurant and get food and get people sick. Today I'm finally feeling a lot better. It's been 12 days so I finally went and took a shower. Hallelujah. I ordered a bunch of groceries and had them bring them out to my car and just set them in front of my car and I've been parked here at the Chuck Walla Trail because they have like an outhouse that isn't horrible but it's kind of outdoors and I feel like it's less likely I'd get someone sick using this restroom than like going into a grocery store or something like that. So I just want a bath. When I'm sick I want a bath and having to pee every five seconds because I have been staying hydrated. I ordered four bottles of juice and 10 vitamin waters and a bunch of instant soup because I can heat up water and pour it in. Thankfully there's a lot of sunshine here and I can charge my solar system. Anyway 
long story short, I do not recommend getting COVID during van life. It's not a good time. It's actually the afternoon, but let's check out the view anyways. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys, I drove to St. George and I went through storage and I'm putting away winter items and I found a couple summer items and then we've got some crochet happening. Anyway, here is the view. Here are the bathrooms that I was talking about. They're like outdoors. They're outhouses, but they're a little nicer than outhouses. I just feel like it's less likely I'll get people sick. But today's a weekend, so there are actually a lot of people here. Usually I'm like the only one here during the week. So I don't know, do I? There's plenty of bushes over there. Just pop a squat. Today I'm just like cleaning, cleaning up garbage, cleaning up all my sickness and trying to get ready for the week so I can get back to filming. Definitely do not feel back to normal. I do not feel great. I should probably rest a couple more days, but today's Saturday and then I have tomorrow and then vlogs start again. So I just feel like I have to get started vlogging even though I feel like crap. So reality is a van life. Yay, fun. While traveling to St. George, I also lost several ceiling panels. So they've just been sitting back here and I've been wanting to fix them, but they've just it's just been like this for 10 days. Oh Lord. On a positive note, though, I've had a lot of time to be creative with my crochet. Sorry about the boobage, but but I've made some really cute boobalicious crop tops. I'm going to sell them. Like I said a couple days ago, I know you guys don't want to buy COVID crop tops. So I'm just making samples for myself. Gonna take some photos for the website and then make a bunch and sell them. So I want your guys' feedback if you guys would buy them, what color you like, what style you like. We'll figure all that out. I've just been crocheting up storm. Really don't feel like being on camera right now. <laughs> my eyes aren't bright red anymore. They were like, my whole eyeball was red. I haven't been sick for this long in a really long time. It just took it out of me this time. It's lunchtime, ramen o'clock. I've had zero appetite. Like I've only been eating soup and drinking fluids for 10 days. Enough complaining about being sick. We are focusing forward. We are focusing on healing. We've got some sunshine outside. I think I'm gonna go sit outside and finish a crop top or two and just sit in the sun and eat my soup. Sounds pretty sweet. These are the last of my groceries. I bought like a huge grocery order, but this has been my diet vitamin water, orange juice, and then with these, pour this in and then just add boiling water and it's hot enough to make soup. So that's been working for me, I guess. Tons of hot tea all day, every day, and cough drop. This has been my diet for 10 days. Absolutely disgusting. One thing too, at night I'm parked on the street and I'm like coughing really, really loud at night. So the it's obvious there's somebody in this trailer. I can hear people walking by having just a normal volume conversation and every time i cough the trailer like rocks back and forth it was a one-of-a-kind experience let's just put it that way anyway moving on moving forward i just wanted to fill you guys in because i didn't vlog hardly at all and um it was a doozy so. we definitely parked on a slant i don't know if you can tell <laughs> i go outside and get some fresh air uh, what is i doing brain fog okay here's the situation the sunshine feels so good this is my afternoon don't you wish i did daily vlogs when i was sick so exciting <laughs> I just met two people from Montana. They came over and said, hi, I was in I was in this exact spot when another Montana lady um, came over. My dad said there was 18 inches of snow the other day. So I don't, I'm not surprised that a bunch of Montana people live in St. George this time of year. It's quite sunny and delightful. Always the Montana people, they're the nicest. Seriously, like so friendly, just genuine down to earth folk. I was like, don't come too close. I have COVID. I'm, I don't think I'm contagious anymore. It's been 12 days, <coughs> but I am still coughing and stuff. So nothing like a little COVID picnic during van life. It's good time, good time. We're starting with our top Romane with chicken. We've got vitamin water. We've got another vitamin water. We've got some Jasmine Dragon Pearl tea, juice. Lozenges. You gotta have lozenges when you're on COVID. Welcome to my COVID picnic. I'm gonna go on my first hike 
since being sick. It's not really going to be an intense hike. I'm just going to walk for a ways. If I at any point start feeling weak or tired, I'll turn around and come back, but I feel like it'll be good to get some sunshine and fresh air. I still feel a lot of stuff in my lungs, so I feel like if I move my body, maybe I can get it out. <coughs> TMI Mondays! I know. I am a vision. I just got a big wave of optimism. It's almost springtime, guys. That means I can start heading north and doing fun things and going on fun hikes. It's been a long winter. Yes, I am hiking in flip-flops and yes, I did just trip over a rock and cut my toe. Thank you so much for asking. This hike is pretty rocky, I'm not gonna lie. Probably best to wear my hiking boots, but it's either cut my feet on sharp rocks or rub the back of my heels off wearing hiking boots. Just a win-win situation, really. I'm not contagious, right? It's been 12 days. If I tested, it wouldn't help because I never tested positive in the first place, so. I will keep a distance from others. Got my vitamin C, vitamin Bs, selenium, vitamin A. I wanna get some of those actual hiking sandals. Do you guys know what they're called? They're like actually for hiking. Until that day. We're wearing our floppy floppies. So I had that type of sickness I actually thought was never gonna end. There was a point where I was so down I was like, this is my new life now. I'm stuck in this trailer, chicken noodle soup and sarcasm. It's all I have to my name. Today I see the light, finally. I can get out and about. And like a couple days ago, I tried to hike. I walked, I walked for like, I don't know, hundred feet and I had to turn around and go back. I'm so afraid of dogs. So I like went off the trail, especially German Shepherds. We had this neighborhood German Shepherd called Matto. He was on a chain but it was just long enough to reach the sidewalk. So every time I rode my bike by or like roller skated by, he would come and just like almost bite you every day. It was so scary. One day Matto did bite me and I've been afraid of dogs ever since, especially German Shepherds. Okay, and just like that, now I am feeling kind of fatigued. <laughs> I've been walking 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn around. I don't want to overdo it. Typically I would push past my comfort level, but a couple days ago I was feeling better. So I'm like, I'm gonna drive to St. George and go through storage. And I had a relapse and got really, really sick again. So I just want to rest my body and not push too hard because I want to feel better. So that's my story. Feels good to get back at it a little bit though. Okay, I'm exhausted and all I want to do is lay down and crochet and watch TV. I am going to do that. However, first I'm going to drive to my parking spot tonight so I don't have to pack up and move again. So I just put it in drive mode. I probably should have taken another week off of YouTube. But <laughs> high class content is what this is. Thank you so much for watching. I really thought I could just go on a hike today and just feel okay, but I do not feel okay. So sleepy. I don't know why I just thought of this, but when my friend got COVID, I gave her 12 little gifts for like the 12 days of COVID. I could go into business making COVID care packages for people, the 12 days of COVID. Look how much garbage I've accumulated. I don't know where to take it. You can get fined for putting it in like restaurant garbages. I usually stop at a gas station and put one in at a time, but I don't want to be a douche and just put all my garbage in one, but I need to get rid of it. I don't want to do the things. I want a bathtub and to watch Jamie from Outlander half naked. That's what I want. I guess I can watch Jamie from Outlander half naked. My internet is working. When all you want to do is lay down and take a nap and you forget, folded a butt ton of clothing this morning and don't have a place for it. Cool, 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 cool. So to put those away, I have to take everything out. So I just do one box at a time. All my shorts and skirts are in this box. I moved them to the top because I wanted to have my spring and summer stuff handy. Cute skirt. It's cute scare alert. Took a bunch of stuff out that I don't need, like my heavy winter items. I mean, I'm still sleeping with that thing because it gets cold at night, but we're getting there. We're getting close to summer and spring. Like I put all my wintery stuff toward the bottom. Do I just throw this in storage? Cause 
I'm not gonna wear this for a very long time, but then there's gonna be a cold day. I'm like, oh, I want a cozy sweater. Once I get everything in its spot, I'll do a uh, trailer tour and I might do like a how I organize my trailer type of thing. Right now it's a shithole. I'm parked for the night so I have a bike path on one side of me have a grocery store down the street so I can go use the restroom I was planning on going to the gym to shower but we'll see about that I'm already parked and I'm gonna take a bunch of stuff out I'm not gonna want to get in drive mode so the next couple of vlogs are probably going to be a little less adventure and a little more um, I'm recovering from COVID. But regardless, I appreciate you guys showing up. I appreciate your support. A lot of you reached out and wished me well, and I appreciate you. I'm also trying to figure out an upload schedule where I can still make enough money, but also not burn out every time. It's tricky because I have to upload that often to make enough money, but uploading five days a week for one person is, it's insanity inducing pretty much but it's what I have to do for now it's not forever so I want to know has this happened to any of you where everyone around you is sick and they test positive for COVID but you don't test positive I don't know why I know for a fact I have it there's no way I don't I have two family members that have it tested positive exact same symptoms got sick at the same time I officially have a new favorite show I've been watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine do you guys like that show um I think Andy Sandberg is my type like I love Steve Carell but Andy Sandberg I'm like hmm I like funny guys definitely like a guy with a good sense of humor I want to disinfect this whole place I've just been sitting in this hot hot box of COVID can't wait to get everything cleaned up and back in its spot and be able to like function as a traveling she shed rather than just a COVID infested sick box. We started a fitness program and uh, yeah, I have not been fitnessing at all for two weeks. I really genuinely committed to my fitness goals too. And I'm just like super depressed that I haven't been able to stay committed to my posting schedule and my fitness goals, but I'm trying to like give myself grace, give myself a break. It just sucks. I'm just complaining now. I'm just, I'm just bitter about it. Oh well, shit happens, life happens, what can you do? Just get back up and keep going. Crochet and probably take a little nap. So I'll see you later. Mm. Well, I still look and feel like hell, but I have not one, but two finished crop top bikinis. I'm gonna go get a kombucha and some soup and just get a little fresh air before I lock myself in my cove mobile. I'm parked right outside of my old apartment building. I'm just super familiar with this area, so. Plus it's right across from the bike path and right across from the grocery store. I'm so exhausted. I could already go back and lay down. Uh, are we there yet? <laughs> got two little baby suits. They have really good broth there. I'm still not hungry at all. I'm gonna force myself to eat real food tomorrow. My throat hurts just to swallow my own spit, so I don't, like, food doesn't sound appetizing. Like, I'm hungry, kind of, but I, it hurts to swallow. Name your sex tape. That's from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, my new favorite show. How lovely is this, though, right by the bike path? It's my rollerblading bike path, so if I feel better tomorrow. I'm gonna tap that. I'm gonna tap that real good. This is my new favorite restaurant. This broth is like crack cocaine. It's so good. It's pork and chicken broth. Aren't you happy you're subscribed to me so you can sit here and watch me drink soup? Riveting content. Internet gold right here, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm gonna start another crop top. I'm on season two, episode 17 of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Is Andy Sandberg single and does he like homely, sick women who drink lots of soup? That's what I need to know. Good morning, friends. <clears throat> it's day 13 of COVID. It's always really bad in the morning. I know it's gonna clear up a little bit, but today I'm like, did I relapse? What happened? I was a little bit better yesterday. I even tried to go on a hike. I don't even mind being sick. It's just the logistics of living in a van and having COVID are very difficult because I don't know if I'm contagious or not. Probably. So like right now, I don't wanna go in and use a restroom because I don't wanna get people sick.
it's just van life is too much when you have COVID is really too much. But anyway, I know I'll feel better once I get up and moving. So we'll see where this day takes us. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I'm going to post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this week and just kind of ease back into vlogging every day. It's been rough. I'm still pretty sick and it's day 15. It hit and it hit hard. So funny thing though, I was going through my photos and look at what I was taking photos of. This was before I built my van even. I was taking photos photos of trailers and planning a trailer build and then I got the van and started traveling but that's kind of weird. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, tell me if you've had COVID, what's your story, how long did you have it for, was it bad, was it okay? I've had it before and it was not this bad. This one hit me hard, hit me real hard so I appreciate you guys watching. We'll be back to fun content soon. I'm so happy we're heading into spring and summer. So excited to get traveling again but love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you on Wednesday.